Okay, he worships the Wall Rider, which appears to be an invisible entity. Oh, great. How did the priest survive? Oh, great. Oh, I'm supposed to bear witness. Well, that's one way of putting it, I guess, since I have my camcorder. Rest in peace. Remember that notes are only added to your notebook when you, your camcorder is raised to record events. Yes, I know. Benny, here, follow this. Yeah, hide under the bed. That's gonna work. I could have crawled out. Father Martin's cell. The priest Father Martin brought me here to show me something. I think I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Bernie. Bernie Wernick. Hello? Hello? Back! Get back! Get the fuck away from me! Ah! Ah! Too many voices. They brought me back. No more sleep. Oh, I think I understand. If you go Think I understand. The idea is <laughs> and it's not a very original idea not to be very negative about this. The idea is that horrible things happen when you go to sleep. But uh well if they if they do exactly what seems to be the most logical thing and try to avoid sleeping, then they ultimately go crazy, don't they? So they have the choice of being horribly sleep deprived. Or dying horribly, I guess. He did not kill his enemies. Shut up, people. They're just loudly walking, very loudly. Oh, whatever. Rest in peace. B block. Anything open here? Hey, buddy, how you doing? That's so good, eh? Hello. Uh, sir? He shouldn't hurt you. That's what he said. When the cat's away. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. And liver. They are yours. Yeah, and that's when they open the door and try to kill you, right? 
God always provides a way. Follow the blood. I guess this is a tale in three acts. And I guess we're done with the introduction. Which would mean that... Uh, up ahead... Is the meat of the game. Once we're done with that, we'll get to the ending. You look like you've seen a ghost. What? No reason to hide. Yet. Anything there? Nope. Anything here? Possibly. Jump scares are definitely a possibility. No, jump scares are pretty much an inevitability. What are you doing, dude? Just keeps shoving me. No. I mean, he's ugly. Doesn't mean he should be locked away. It's not a crime. Hello, are you gonna help me? They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. Sleep no more. Space alone. Leave me alone. Uh, he's saying it's not science. But it's paranormal, all right. Yeah, you can go for the. I will go for the soon enough. Science. <laughs> well, that's uh... it's only one way out through here. sick well excuse me buddy just passing through fuck this place seriously just fuck this place i agree stop stealing context and it's pr at a predictable interval what's wrong with this game uh dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here yeah? necromantic uh, not not terribly romantic, if you ask me. Hello.
showers. That sounds um, appealing, doesn't it? A cold shower? A hot shower? A shower of any description. Can we unlock this? No. So the only way is through here. One of the most predictable and terrifying things will be for one of the corpses to just rise. You're on the ledge, just move towards it. No, oh, that's a terrifying prospect, but I guess I'll have to go through the and run the gauntlet. No more space alone. Me alone. Don't mind me. Just making my way through here while holding a camcorder. The objective, follow blood trails to the exit. Will they lead to the exit? Oh, look, active. That's nice. Is this a decontamination chamber? Certainly looks like one. Alright, I've been decontaminated. I'm in A block now. I can hide beneath the stars. I am some wizard. Oh, it's all locked. Could go through the contamination here if I were to access the other side. Yes, down the drain indeed. Anyway, there's a bloody arrow leading up top. Hello. He'll probably kill me, but whatever. Ha! Huh, I knew it was worth exploring. <clears throat> Father Martin, finger painter. I'm sorry, what? Father Martin was a patient, wasn't he? <laughs> patient art program, patient father, Martin... Uh, Archimbard from N. Wolfram at Merkafkopf.us.com to H. Granite at Merkafkopf.us.com. Helen, Dr. Zeichner gave me your info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient. Martin Archimbaud has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. That's nice. That's nice. Um, and then he decided to continue his art career painting in red on walls. <sighs> Just in the week since cancelling the arts program, his schizoaffective assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on temple paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Merkov wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise Dr. Neil Wolfram. I... <laughs> this might be very heavy-handed. But yes, as far as I can tell, Melkov does want the patients to become more disengaged from reality. I think that was the plan all along. I think they wanted them to go crazy. Well, you know, you know what they say. Sometimes they say the only way is up. Yes, the only way is down, in this case. You know. I 
Any documents here? Anything? They weren't experiments. They were rituals. A conjuring. This is bad news. There's a locker to hide in over here. Can I free you, you poor bastard? They insist that this is all paranormal. But then again, they're all crazy. I think I can't go through here, so I have to go through the other. And presumably I'll be chased and then I'll have to go over here. Uh, I don't like this. Closing doors behind you will slow your pursuers. Gee, that's nice. He's about to chase me, isn't he? Hello. If I approach him, he's presumably just going to pursue me. I like you to stay quiet. Ah, what the hell. Okay, he did not hurt me. There might be something worse than him, I guess. Something beyond this door, perhaps? I am not going to look behind myself. Oh my god. Quite an emotional experience, but uh, very predictable <clears throat> when it comes down to it. Not sure what I can do in those circumstances. I need to go back though. He might just pursue me again. It's not like I can lose him easily. Oh, this is closed now. Well, this has been closed for a while now. I don't think I'm getting out of here easily. I can go here, I can go there, back to the guy who pursued me. Uh, there are no good options here. Hello. How are you doing, man? Well, that's one option, I guess. <sighs> it's 
something might be on the god. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Well, if he's still there, I'm going to be absolutely royally screwed. And I'll have to redo pretty much the entire section. However... There's something to pick up, though. Where is he? Oh, there's a locker, though. Let's not lock the door, shall we? There's a locker. I presumably have to hide in it. I've made a bit of noise, so presumably he'll come here, mess with the other locker, and you know, that'll be it. If he opens this one... Well then that's bad. I think that I have to rush... ...to... ...my destination. Not sure of the alternatives. Why? Okay. I'll run past him if I have to. We can run if we want to. We can leave our pursuers behind. The contamination. <laughs> He'd have to press the button of his own volition. Still been, has still been a save point in between. Because if not, I'm going to be disappointed. This is bad. Please just let me save. <sighs> just... I'm just hanging out! I love that this is... a solution, you just... Get on that ledge. No. What's your favorite thing about space? They're in my blood if they want to get out. Yeah, I think I'll have to run. May contain nuts, but more than likely will not. What's the objective? Follow the blood trail to the exit. You need a key card. Okay. 
Is there a key card here? Please. Hello. But I don't have a key card. Do you have a key card? Is there a key card over here? Certainly not. Well, I guess I'll have to take a slight detour, won't I? Yes, presumably over here. Oh, yes. Documents. Purge gate maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Merkav Corporation Maintenance Manual MMPS MM180286 or see guidance from a supervisor with the proper security clearance. Where's the key card? I need the key card. I need the key card. Go further, any further. Oh boy. Will this end well? Presumably not. Everything's bloody locked. Oh, this is the key card. Thank you. Ah, might as well have this whipped out. Exit to the showers. Typical. Not quite. Close enough, though. How do we do this? How do I avoid that monster? Well, that's quite brutal, don't you think? <laughs> A secret document. <clears throat> Dr. Wernick's death certificate. Please find attached a copy of the death certificate for Rudolf G. Wernick, Merkel Psychiatric System Subcontractor Number 148616, no surviving family. South Colorado. 
Hold to like to view watermark. File number 8732. I don't care about your numbers. Place. Yeah. Stouncy. Yeah. Full name. Rudolf Gustav Vernick. Laying for residence in the city or town where they've occurred. Seven months. <laughs> Long in the US. If of foreign birth. 55 years. Male. White. Single. Married. Widowed or divorced. Single. Okay. Born in 1918. Died. 2009. Hey, I said if I. Uh, then deceased. They saw him alive. The death occurred and date stated above. 4 11 a.m. The principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows heart failure due to advanced stage. This certified that this is a true and correct copy of the official record. That's great. Nope, not that way. Yep, close this. I'm going to encounter them again, won't I? Any keys you have for me? Okay, activate airlock. Cute. Exactly. Suffice it to say, this was not my finest moment. This went on for a while, after which point I gave up, ran to the front of the room, and predictably enough died. I'll spell you watching that. So let me get this straight. Gotta go fast. Up. <clears throat> Forward. Do you actually genuinely go down though? I think you do. Can you open this? This is on fire. Well, that's an improvement, arguably. Hey, wait! I think this is an improvement! That's what I'm supposed to do! Now you pick up the camcorder from the bunch of human corpses. Miles, you've seen this stuff. Whoa, that was... Haha! If you should find an alternative path to the showers. Really? Well, going back to that showers thing? Oh, diddly hey, diddly ho. And what, pray tell, is the alternative path? Oh, he's right there. I can barely see him. Do I get out and try to make my way somewhere? How exactly am I supposed to proceed? I think the only way is through the hole in the wall. It's not like there are other ways you can actually... Do you have night vision, dude? Because if you don't, I could just sneak by you, I guess. Will he ever go away?
You know what? Speeding through this is a better option, I think. Yeah, it's better to get caught. As I've said before, it's better to get caught. Then it is to just stay under a bed indefinitely. You get up. Oh, this is a C block. Monkey C, monkey block. Underneath the bed we go. I'm not in the same block, so there might be a different hole, a different wall, whatever. The idea remains the same. <sighs> I have quite a few batteries. Yeah, that's roughly when I lose context. About five minutes in. Fascinating. Oh, why did you have to vault over that? This is over there. I'm over here. Slowly running out of battery life. Oh, please. Well, this is bad. However, I can hide under the bed and we'll see if he finds me. <clears throat> Possibly not. Not sure where the exit is, that kind of upsets me. Because once you know, you know. And of course, the unfortunate part in all of this is that I have to find the showers again, which means I'll presumably have another rendezvous with those guys over there. You just keep controlling that area. There's no point in staying put for too long. I think he's going further away now. Okay, you reloaded, what now? If I run into him, I swear to god I'll just give up for him now. Hello. You'll catch me. No, you won't. Am I supposed to head downstairs or something? Can I sneak by him? Am I supposed to go into that bright area? Yeah, he's over there. All the way over there. What can I do?
slowly making his way over there, so I'll creep f through here. Okay, I have to go over here. Let's try not to make too much noise. Creep through. I need to activate another decon. I think I'm moderately safe now. Yeah, that's what they want me to think. I should probably explore them all as much as I don't like the idea. No, let's just creep to the showers. Screw side paths. Hello. How are you doing? Mm-hmm. I think the bad news is that, um... I'm looking for the key card. That's all I'm looking for. Itch, please. Not sure I want his help. No, 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 we're not telling secrets. <clears throat> I'd love to help you, dude, but uh, I'm afraid there's not much I can do. Oh, of course. The, um... This poor guy. Oh, maybe that's the wall rider. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think that counts as a secret anymore. Unless that's not the secret, of course. Running out of battery life. Come on. Now, I could be under the impression that that, that that guy can't help me wrongfully. Perhaps he can. these things played out. That's what sometimes happens when you get a bunch of dickheads together. They cancel each other out. Well, that's um, an intriguing way of putting it, I guess. Can I actually get through this? I don't think I can. Oh, never mind. I am so lost. But I think that was a good idea. Left mouse button to hide, that's cute. However... Yeah. 
No, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Can you actually... Oh, you... Experiment the dead before. Oh! He did not kill his. Eve. Technology, he would think is magic. But show the modern man magic, he would think it was technology. That's cute, yes, yes, science, paranormal, whatever. Obituary from. Is that the obituary? Is it the newest document? Yes, we had. The death certificate, now we have the obituary! www.denverlegal obituaries, yada yada yada. ASPX! Ugh. Rudolf G. Wernicke, Dr. Rudolf G. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February the 28th, 2009. Spawn in. Uh, 1918 in Munich, Germany, which is fame in the um, mathematics and scientific communities for a paper written with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, yeah, I was about to wonder about that. He immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Winnico retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. Came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I presume he leaves no survivors. Okay, let's try this one and then I'll go upstairs. That's the decontamination door. I'll need to unlock it. Just give me a save point. This is the A block, B block, now this is C block. Okay. What the fuck? Who's there? You just made us look in our own reflections. May us wish you push our heads under and made us straight. That's not how you do it. How do you do it? Bet you do. Do you crouch down? I can't remember. Do you just walk forward? I thought he was just supposed to cozy up to the wall and then walk side to side, right? Yeah, I guess you have to walk forward towards it first. Yeah, this is pretty hardcore, hardcore parkour. This is bad. 
I mean, I expect it as much, I guess. And of course, there's pretty much nothing you can do at that stage. Okay, through here, I guess. No alternatives. Hello. Yeah, we'll probably go down. Any more documents? Nope. You just go down. Please just give me a save point. This is a very long sequence and I would rather not repeat it. I can follow the blood or I can go here. Let's go here. Let me guess, I will be shown why I should have followed the blood. Oh god. Yeah, if I follow the blood, presumably I'll, I'll be led to something that will force me to come back to these lockers and hide. Well, let's go up then. When's the nearest save point? Show me the documents. The notes, I mean. There were wall riders all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. But the patients talk about the wall rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon, something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place. Or maybe this place getting to me. I didn't see anything. If I hide in the locker, will that help? Because, you see, uh, there was enough stuff so far. Enough stuff for me. I don't want to run to the next locker. I want to get a save point and be done for now. Isn't that what we all want out of life? To get a save point and get the hell out? There's a hole, though. Presumably I have to go down. Yeah, whatever. No way to retreat to the lockers now. Shut up. Time for a jump scare, I guess. Well, screw that. If I have to reload, then I'll have to reload. Let's not kill. Let's not give a damn. Woo, bloody who. Find a way out of the sewers. Well, that's... That's new. No way to go. Go here. Left or right? There's light though, so let's go towards the darkness, I guess. Nope. Need to head towards the light. I think there might... There must have been a save along the way, right? Must have been one. Presumably you'll rise, right? Well, let's not walk up to him. Why would I? This is definitely the way. Yeah, there's no way they'll force me to trudge through the entirety of what I've just been... Oh. Uh, okay. That seemed like a guy. I don't know if you can see him outside of the camera space, but uh, that was a guy running in a direction, I guess. Okay, there's a hole, though. Uh, 
Let's pick this up, read it. The Gospel of Sand, found, found scrolled in pencil on the back of an admittance form, and writ, handwriting matches samples from patient Father Martin Archimbald. This god is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghosts, spirits, madness, we were only willfully ignorant. The scales of Saul's eyes will feel, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God to receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. In this place, to stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. That's really nice. You know what? No, that actually isn't very nice. Not, it's not nice at all. It's not nice in the slightest. Crawl through here, presumably something bad will happen. Ugh, whatever, why do I even bother trying to predict? Saving, thank you! Flush the water by turning two valves. You know what? I'll investigate this later. I'm done. The game saved for me, that's my cue. Just as it was past Vestin's cue, so it shall be mine. All too many forces conspire to keep me in this godforsaken place. Will my journey through the sewers bring me any closer to freedom? Find out in the next episode of my Outlast playthrough. Thanks for watching and you will see me elsewhere.